Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, how memory is allocated to objects and methods in Java. So, in our last class, we clearly discussed about uh, what is instance and local variables. You are going to understand better what is instance variables, how memory is allocated to instance variables, all these things you will get clarity in this class. So, the example which we are using in our last class, the same example we are using here, please watch the class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so we already know from our previous classes, this is the random access memory organization we are using. So, in our random access memory, this is the address values, 0th line, 1st line, 2nd line, each line, 1 byte of data you can store, 1 byte means 8 bits. So, 0th line, 2000th line, so on, 5000th line. So, in Java, they are going to allocate stack space and heap space. So, in this class, we are going to understand what is this stack space, how to use the, uh, in which in which situations stack is used and what is heap space, how this heap space is used and for what purpose we are using this heap space. So, let us take the example and understand step by step. In our last class example, we are having a class called first example. We had an instance variable p and we are having two methods in this class, add method and multiplication method. And we are having one more class, class test. In this class test, we are having a main method. So, our execution starts from this main method. So, whenever, whenever, if you want to execute a method, so, whenever you want, whenever the execution starts in from the, from the main method, so, the, in order to execute the main method, we need some space. We need space to store the values that present in the present the values of the variables present in this main method. So where the space is allocated? Yes, whenever you want to execute a method, the space allocated in the stack. So this random access memory we made it into two parts. Usually this is this should be down below this. For understanding purpose, we are taking this as stack space. This is as heap space. So, in our execution, stack space allocated from 2000 to 5000 location. All these lines allocated for stack space. 5001 to 6000 is allocated for heap space. Okay, this is the continuation space. We made it as a separate one. So, now try to understand how much space is needed to execute the method main how many variables are present in this main method int z it is a variable how much space is needed for z z is of type int 4 bytes is needed similarly first example ob this is a variable this is a reference type variable how much space is needed for reference type variables 4 bytes so total 4 bytes plus 4 bytes 8 bytes is needed so, whenever before starting execution of this method, stack space is allocated. How much stack space is allocated? 8 bytes is allocated. Whatever the variables that present in that method, that much of space is allocated here in the stack. From 2000 to 2007, 8 bytes has been allocated. In this 8 bytes, Z value and OB value can be stored. Now, execution starts. First line is executed, second line executed, first example OB is equal to new first example of. After executing this line, we are creating an object. This discussion made previously. Object means we need to allocate some space. How much space we need to allocate for that object? Which object we are creating? We are creating an object of type class, first example class. So, for this object, how much space is allocated? Now, coming to our class, first example, how many instance variables are there? One instance variable is there. What is the type of that instance variable? Int. Int needs 4 bytes of space. So, whenever we created an object, space is allocated. How much space is allocated? The space allocated is sufficient to store the values of instance variables. Here, 
four bytes is needed where it is going to be allocated the uh, space for object is allocated in heap space so here 5001 to 5004 this is the four locations allocated for object ob for ob object in in this place we are going to store the value of p see what is the starting location 5001 5001 is stored here in the stack in place of ob 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 is pointing to the memory location 5001 because it is the space it that is the space where object is assigned the instance variable are going to be stored so this is how this is how memory is used heap space is used to store the objects stack space is used to store the variables that present in the methods this is allocated for methods this is allocated for objects this is the point you need to understand now we are going to elaborate the remaining example also this very very important so once object has been assigned how much space here it is assigned what is the value of p it is the value of p present here now after executing this line the third line is going to be executed what's the third line is saying ob dot add of one comma five we are calling a new method add method is going to be called where the space is going to be assigned in the stack already stack is filled with 2000 to 2007 this space is allocated for main method so how much space needed for add method in add method how many variables are there three variables are there int a int b int c each variable takes four bytes for so three 12 bytes is needed to execute this add method so from 2008 to 2019 these are this is the 12 locations allocated for add method now execution started add method is going to be executed int c c is equal to a plus b plus p a is the value a get from here value b get from here value p get from here it is going to get the values from there and c is stored system dot after displaying the c value execution completed see the point the important point you need to understand once the execution of the method completed the space that allocated from 2008 to 2019 it is going to remove the values means this space is no more allocated for add method that's why in our last class we discussed that uh, local variables the variables that present in the method we call it as local variables we can use that local variables only during the execution of that method they are available during the execution of the method so here after completion of the add method this space is deleted not space is deleted the values are this space you can use this space for other methods after completion of add method see this line has been completed what's the next line saying again called multiplication method now we are calling multiplication method how many variables are there in this multiplication method a b d three variables again 12 bytes is needed for multiplication method where it is going to assign it is going to assign the same space given for add 2008 to 2019 because add method is completed you can use that space but main method is not completed still that's why this space is still there the variables are still in that values are present so now the same space allocated for multiplication method a b d variables we can store in this space once the multiplication method has been completed now the 2008 to 2019 this space has been removed what's the space it is using only the main method space it is going to use remaining space is we are not using in for any methods only method that is available here which is in execution is this method main method 
so system dot out dot printl enough multiplication value is z value has been displayed see that's why that's why why instance variables are global variables this heap space is allocated this space is available after completion of add method after completion of multiplication method that's why this space is global any method can access this variable instance variable so this is how this is the points you need to understand after completion of main method this main the space allocated for this main method it is also de deleted it means the variables you can use this space for other methods so this is how we use the stack and heap space for allocating objects in heap space and for allocating variables that present in the methods for in stack space hope you understand how memory is allocated if you have any questions regarding the question please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you